Hello, I'm Jerry Cusano, composer with OCP, and today we look at Psalms for the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C. Today we have one of the more well-known Psalms, Psalm 51, and it goes along with that famous parable of the prodigal son, which we will hear in today's gospel, among a couple of other parables. One word of caution, now this psalm that we commonly know as create in me a clean heart, O God, has instead as its antiphon a line from today's gospel, I will rise and go to my father. So a word of caution to those of you who do a little mix and match, you do not want to use the refrain, have mercy on me, or rather create in me a clean heart, O God. Uh, you don't want to use that, that is not the main idea of today's psalm, especially for the assembly refrain, I will rise and go to my Father. It is about approaching God in reconciliation. So let's take a look at the psalm from Respond and Acclaim. I will rise and go to my Father. I will rise and go to my Father. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. A steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. I will rise and go to. of words about this week's psalm. If you notice, traditionally, as on Ash Wednesday and the first Sunday of Lent, there are four prescribed verses of the psalm. Well, today there are only three. So I would caution that you, if you use a different type of setting, that you make sure the verses match up. The church very carefully prescribes the verses of the psalm as well as the psalm antiphon itself. Unlike many psalms that are addressed either directly to God or to creation, this psalm's refrain is introspective. It is addressed to oneself. And so it bids one to approach God in faith believing that God will be, in fact, merciful. And we know that God is. So when singing this psalm, 
the psalmist or the cantor wants to appear and to sound introspective in the refrain, but in a way that will lead the assembly to a sense of urgency whereby they must partake. They have no choice. And then the verses are addressed to Almighty God, but they're addressed in a contrite manner. And so that is the challenge for the cantor this week, to juxtapose those two things and connect them in such a way that the psalm is proclaimed in a coherent fashion. This is Jerry Cusano wishing you wonderful liturgies, a blessed week, and we will see you next time. God bless.